Two notebooks. One's for um, material, one's for ads for the Toyota Aris Hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just read those. <laughs> uh, they're, pretty, they're pretty shit. Okay, this is this is more of a, a parable to not be a not be a rude sexist uh, computer studies teacher. <laughs> um, CPR. Does anybody know CPR? A figure in a duffel coat lay perfectly still on the platform. A ring of uncertain people hovered around it. A few minutes behind that, Matt stood there, trying to remember. He did know CPR. He passed the bronze medallion when he was fifteen. They'd done all the practice breasts and impressions on a rubber torso in groups of four in the concrete shed at Bungan Beach. Matt's group of four had failed the resuscitation section, resuscitation section three times before. So Pritchard, the computer studies teacher, who supervised the year nine, said so carried on about their stuffing around. He said that their negligence while on duty could cost someone their life, and they wouldn't all be fucking comedians then, would they? Would they? <laughs> A few hours later, the woman from Surf Life Saturday in Australia came down the hill to Bungan and watched Matt and his friend on their fourth attempt correctly clear the airways and do the press and compressions on the torso. She was satisfied with their progress and awarded them an official pass for Section 2 of the Bronze Medallion. That afternoon, there was a sausage sizzle out the front of the surf club. Matt had two sausage sandwiches and a can of Coke. While they were eating, one of Pritchard's local mates walked past with his longboard and Pritchard offered him a sausage. He thanked Pritchard but said he was a vegetarian. Pritchard yelled, only eat pink meat, do you, mate? Then turned to Matt and grinned with his tongue out. Matt looked up and frowned. He'd forgotten CPR and now London Underground had a corpse to deal with. <laughs> Um, so sometimes I write, um, much like the dude just before, haikus about, um, but I write them about Australian sporting culture. <laughs> and so I've done a bunch of our, but this is about the Melbourne Cup, which is a big uh, horse race where everyone goes and gets drunk and gambles for. The PE teacher Googled how to tie a tie. No tracksuit today. <laughs> Sunglasses, Oakley, shirt, black, tie, silver, shoes, white, cocaine, pre-ordered. <laughs> <laughs> the incredible guilt felt from his gambling losses helped Jake to drink more. <laughs> Tobes won his work sweet, then left his phone in a cab, then spewed in his bed. <laughs> Flick ripped off her shoe peeked it across the, mar the marquee at that cunt Kate's face. <laughs> <laughs> the only losers were millions of gamblers and that horse they shot. Thank you. <laughs>